they weren't getting, including a meeting with the president in the Oval Office. Um, whether the hold, uh, the security assistance hold continued or not, Ukrainians understood that that's something the president wanted, and they still wanted important things from the president. Um, so and I think that continues to this day. I think they're being very careful. They still need us. All right, now that this week's public hearings are behind us, I spoke with Casey Burgett. He's a senior fellow for R Street's governance project and has been tracking the developments in this impeachment inquiry. Well, Casey, we definitely got more details from these witnesses uh, for the public hearings for the impeachment inquiry this week. Uh, did it clear up anything, though, especially when it comes to the argument for impeachment? Yeah, I think the argument has been clear from the get-go. Uh, even from that whistleblower complaint, it was a pretty clear one, two, three. And Democrats wanted to bring forward witnesses from from all over the State Department, uh, Department of Defense, uh, career bureaucrats to to lay out what they knew when uh, to kind of corroborate everything that we found in that whistleblower complaint. And I think they were pretty ineffective in doing that. But we just don't know if it's going to change anyone's mind in this polarized environment, in these polarized times. Poll after poll tells us that people are pretty stuck in their ways. So we'll have to wait and see if anyone's mind was changed. I know you talked about that uh, a lot of the public having their minds already made up uh, before we advance in this impeachment inquiry. Uh, you outlined that in a, in a piece for USA Today. Is that right. the biggest challenge, or do you think there are other factors playing, uh, playing a role in all this? It's mostly the only challenge left. Uh, Democrats are really confident in their case. They are, they're really happy with the, the testimony that came and how professional these career bureaucrats were in making their case. They didn't ca get caught up in the politics of the moment. They, they were incredibly uh, professional and, and forthright in what they knew and when, and, and even pointed out the limitations of what they knew and were honest about those too. So all that matters now is uh, members of Congress and the House and even the Senate going back home next week with the Thanksgiving recess and talking to their constituents, looking at polling coming in to see uh, if anyone's mind is being changed. And, and that's what will determine how fast we go, uh, whether Democrats wait for court cases to give us some pretty big heavy hitters in terms of testimony left out there. Um, but right now, we're looking to see if anyone's mind it was changed at all um, and to see if they want to pr pursue uh, article of, of impeachment, uh, which the House is uncertain, are certainly going to do. So with all that being said, now that we put the hearings behind us, you know, Mitch McConnell has said he anticipates a Senate trial in January. Is there any more clarity uh, for a timeline on the impeachment proceedings? That's kind of the huge question left now, assuming that we get past the, the House stage, which we're almost certain to do. Uh, the question is, is how long the Senate trial will last? I've heard everything from one week to two weeks to Mitch McConnell playing really hardball um, and making senators, particularly those six that are running for president right now, stay in Washington. There's a little known rule that when an impeachment trial is happening on the Senate floor, senators literally have to sit at their desk. So you can imagine those six senators running for president uh, wishing they were in Iowa and New Hampshire and South Carolina campaigning when they're tied to their desk listening to that impeachment case. So we don't know the answer to, as far as timeline goes, but the latest I'm hearing is that there's been negotiations to try to make it about a two-week case. Casey, really appreciate the insight. Uh, hope you can get some rest. Hope you can enjoy your weekend because this story is not going away anytime soon. No, I can't wait. Just one night. I need one night off. That's all. <laughs> Take care, my man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Again, our thanks to Casey Burgett for the insight. Now, the timeline for this impeachment inquiry still very fluid, but that's not stopping the White House from preparing for the next steps in the investigation. A group of Republican senators and senior White House officials reportedly met in private to come up with a game plan for a potential Senate impeachment trial. Sources told several media outlets the meeting took place on Thursday. The participants included six GOP senators, White House Counsel Pat Cipollone and Acting Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney, Counselor to the President Kellyanne Conway, and President Donald Trump's son-in-law Jared Kushner. Among other details, the group reported